What better way to kick off Ireland Week than with some Six Nations stats? My name is Mark, let's talk rugby. Two rounds of Six Nations down, and I think it was about time to have a look at some stats. What we're going to do today is we're going to look at three particular areas, that being, first of all, kicking, meters carried and gained, and then finally, ruck speed. So we're going to compare how the teams are doing this year compared to how they did in the whole competition last year. So obviously some numbers will be skewed because of opposition, etc. but it still gives us an indication of which direction teams are going compared to the previous campaign. And, you know, th there's some things in there in the stats that we won't see, but you know, we at least can draw inferences from some of them. So we're going to start with kicking and First of all, kicks and play. So kicks and play so far um, are from 2023, sorry. So England with the most, with 170, that's 34 pick kicks per game last year. France, 156 with 31.2. Uh, Ireland, 153 with 30.6, so just behind France there. Wales, not too far back, 146 for 29.2. Scotland, 129 for 25.8. And Italy, 107 for 21.4. So something that we won't see today that I'd love that if the, the official stats have given us was kick meters as well, because we can last year when we look at our stats, we know that both France and Scotland are actually top of the kick meters. But I think this year, you know, you might see that Ireland are up there as well, but we don't have those stats, unfortunately. But looking at the 2024 numbers in terms of just kicks, so Scotland now heading there with 82. That's 41 kicks per game. That's a massive increase. That's an extra 16, well, 15 kicks per game so far this season for them. So no doubt that they are kicking more than previously. There was that huge kick tennis thing that they had with France that might skew it again, but it seems to be a strategy for them. The fact that they, you know, they've increased so much. It's, I don't think it's an aberration. I think they've decided that they're going to kick more. Wales then with 66, so 33 kicks per game for them. So slight increase for them as well. England at uh, 63 kicks with 31.5. So they're slightly down on last year france then was 61 30.5 for them so round about the same level at the moment we'll see if that kind of you know that little difference of about um you know just over half half a kick per game changes over the rest of the tournament ireland then with 60 with 30 picks kicks per game so again they're round about the, where they were last year which suggests that in terms of kicking strategy they haven't changed that much in terms of the type of kicks going in certainly has changed we've seen that with crowley very different you know to uh sexton but a lot of our kicks anyway come from the wings so low is kicking the same way as before hugh keenan from the back as well and then nash and mac hansen you know, there might be a slight difference between those two, but not too much. Italy then, 107 kicks last year, but 47 so far this year. So they've kicked 23.5 per game this year, which is an increase of two, which when you think about it, isn't massive. Like, you know, you would expect Italy to have changed their kicking strategy from last year. And this is a stat that kind of belies that. It doesn't kind of tell the full story. Italy have changed their kicking strategy. I saw... Uh, I couldn't find it when I was looking for to use on this, but somebody put an excellent um, set of stats for kicking on um, X or Twitter talking about, you know, um, what type of kicks teams are actually doing. And Italy are, are uh, they've got much more or far more um, clearance kicks than they did last year. And that's the big difference for them is that, you know, they may only be kicking slightly more, but where they're kicking the ball from is um very different so exits from the 22 so that means less playing around with the ball in their own 22 and less danger for them so they're, they're, i think they're using their kicking strategy smarter than they did last year and we're i think we're seeing that in terms of um certainly the performance against england against ireland is kind of hard to, to judge too much of that because ireland were you know ireland weren't amazing in that game but they made it very difficult for Italy to to kind of play their own game as well. But that's our look at kicks. 
I want to look again at this later on in the term, maybe at the end of the tournament and see how things have changed then. And also I'm going to try and dig up some further kicking stats from there. But next we're going to move on to meters made. So we're going to start with meters carried looking at last year. So Ireland at the top there with, you know, 4,200 and odd, um, for, from 696 carries and average of 6.16 carries per me or meters per carry sorry scotland then um with you know almost four thousand meters themselves from 621 uh for 6.42 meters per carry so you know higher meter per carry than ireland but overall ireland made more meters then italy next with 3911 um from 649 meter or carry so carrying more than scotland but carrying just over six meters per carry france then um just over three and a half thousand meters for them from uh 558 carries so carrying less than any other team in the tournament but making more meters per carry 6.43 so slightly more than scotland england then with three thousand three and a half thousand meters carried from 615 carries for 5.73 meters per carry and then wales at the bottom there with uh, 3250 meters from 594 carries and carrying for the least meters per carry 5.47 so how's that changed this year well ireland's still at the top there with uh 1700 meters carried you can see the exact number of your you know you're watching the video there uh from 281 so that's for uh 6.12 meters per carry so pretty similar to last year scotland then second as they were last year as well um 1300 meters from 246 carries but then their meters per carry has dropped a lot they, you know they're, they're making um a meter less more than a meter less than they were last year 5.29 meters per carry wales then have jumped from sixth place last year to third place this year 1280 meters from 260 carries for just under five meters per carry so they're carrying a lot more than they were last year they're making more ground because of the number of carries but each carry is having to have you know half a meter or so less impact than it did last year england then um with you know just over a thousand meters from just under 200 carries for five and a half meters per carry and so you know slightly down on the meters per carry from last year but not not significantly at least at this stage france then um you know they're they're at uh, just over a thousand meters themselves as well carrying for you know less times in england so those two um kind of you know similar to last year i think in terms of the the meters that they made compared to the number of carries but france again uh dropping to 5.78 meters per carry and then italy again just over a thousand meters from 182 for five and a half meters per carry so a lot of teams around that kind of you know five to five point five ireland just over the six there and you know no no team really significantly in, you know, i think most teams actually dropped from last year um in terms of meters per carry on to then meters gain so these are basically you know of the you know how many meters over the gain line is is how I, i'm interpreting this so ireland at the top again with uh 2000 almost 2700 from those almost 700 carries for 3.86 meters gain per carry france then uh, with almost two and a half thousand meters gained from their you know five 550 odd carries for 4.4 meters gain per carry last year so that was the best in the tournament scotland then um 2300 odd from 621 for 3.74 meters gain per carry italy 2190 meters gained from their 649 carries for three point you know just over three points or just under 3.4 sorry meters gain per carry england 1971 uh, meters gained from their 615 carries and that gave them just over 3.2 meters gain per carry and then wales at the bottom there 1000 uh, just over 1800 meters gained 
from almost 600 carries for just over three meters gain per carry. So you can see that kind of Ireland and France were the, the top two last year, and then England and Wales, the bottom two, Scotland and Italy there in the middle. So for this year, how's that changed? So Ireland still at the top in terms of their meters gained, 994 um, so far this year. And that works out at 3.54 meters gain per carry. So, so a little bit down last year. France then, um, 644 meters gained. And they're coming out at, uh, the same as Ireland, 3.54, but they're almost a meter down, you know, gain per carry on last year. And we've seen that in terms of the impact, um, of the carries. And we also have to take into account as well with Ireland, there's a lot of kind of short passing, uh, you know, a lot more passes for, for Ireland, which kind of skews their numbers as well downwards. So France would expect to be making more meters um, gain per carry than, than Ireland because of that. Scotland then um, 774 meters gained, and that gives them 3.15, which is, you know, compared to last year, to down about half a meter gain per carry. Italy then 575, which gives them 3.25. Uh, meters per carry which is slightly down on last year england 624 meters gain for 3.25 as well they're slightly up from last year and think they're the only team that actually increased their meters gain per carry compared to last year wales then still at the bottom um, 690 meters gained and 2.65 meters gain per carry so a, a bit down on last year about 10 percent down on last year then the next thing I want to look at was in terms of, you know, the meters gained compared to how many meters the team has carried, how many of the meters carried is actually over the gain line. So we're going to have a look at that. We're going to look at last year. So the top team last year, number one was France. They um, got over the gain line with 68% of their um, meters carried. Ireland next with uh, 62, Scotland on 58, Italy 56, England just you know under 56, pretty much round off to 56, Wales on um, just under that as well with uh, just under 56 as well. So Italy, England, and Wales very close last year, and then France and Ireland you know out at the top of France definitely out at the top, and then Scotland kind of in the middle there. Compared that to this year, then France still at the top with 63%. You know, again, down on last year. He's, you can see that in the open two games. It doesn't take that much, you know, in terms of how well you're doing in, in your stats for that to come into your performance as well. Scotland with uh, 59% there up from last year. And we can see that even though results may be not so great performances, uh, you can see that they are making you know, more meters over the, over, um, the gain line on the carries England then next. So, uh, you know, they're at like just under 59. Um, so, you know, up from 56 last year and they've, uh, leapfrog Ireland as well. Ireland has dropped down to fourth on 57.82. So, you know, Ireland kind of sig significantly, I would say down on last year. And that's something maybe, you know, that, that they're, uh, gonna want to improve and it's, you know, one of the areas that, that and that's, that they need to improve on. But it's, it's something as well. The, the Ireland's performance is kind of ominous. One of the first two rounds is that there is room for improvement, but that can go both ways, right? You think, okay, if they improve on those, then they're just going to be like out of this world amazing. But if it's something that, the, you know, that they need to improve on and they're not improving on it and they get ex exploited by an opposition, then that can be uh, hugely de detrimental to them as well. Italy then, um, they're on 57, um, so slightly up from last year. Wales then on uh, just under 54, so they've dropped from last year. That's, you know, another thing where that they're going to have to improve on that. But that's a look at uh, kind of the carries um, this year so far and and on this one we're just going to look at kind of team performance i did want to look at some individuals but there isn't enough stats at this point at least to be looking at individuals in these areas next thing i want to look at then is rook speed so the way they pre presented the rook speed on the official site was they had 
Rooksby percentage um, that was zero to three percent uh, or second, sorry. And then they said four to six, which didn't make any sense to me because um, surely that should be three to six. So I changed it to three to six and then uh, six plus seconds, which does make sense. And so we've got them, the numbers here from 2023. So Italy uh, with the fastest ruck ball, they were, you know, um, 60, almost 63% of their rooks were at zero to three seconds, 21% uh, or 22% three to six seconds, and just 6% at six plus seconds. Now that I put the totals in here so you can see that, you know, they're not obviously not counting all of the rooks. Okay, so you, you, what's going to be excluded from there are, um, you know, rooks where they knocked on, where basically the ball didn't come out into play. So knock-ons from either team, penalty infringements from either team, um, that kind of thing. So, you know, th that would add steals, stuff like that as well, where the, the team we're, we're actually counting on didn't get the ball out themselves. So that extra, whatever, 9.19%, it would be included in that. So then I worked out an average um, as well that you can see there. We'll talk a little bit about, a little more about that in the next graphic that we see. But, uh, and we'll talk about how I calculated that as well. But you can see that there for now. Next then is Ireland. And so they had 59% of their ball, uh, zero to three seconds. And then there, you know, another team that had um, less than 10%, so 8.78%. At uh, six plus seconds. So both those teams are very quick ball and, you know, um, the vast majority of their ball as well in that magical zero to three seconds. Scotland then, um, slightly behind Ireland with 58.4, but then in their six plus seconds, they're, they're into double figures. They're almost 12%. France with 57%, zero to three, and then, uh, 12%, six plus. England with 53.96, zero to three. So almost 50% uh, of the ball is from three seconds up. Wales then 52% uh, percent in zero to three. And then 12.3166 uh, um, six, six seconds plus. And, you know, they were the highest amount, like 26% in that three to six second. So you know, they were trying to speed up the ball that you can see that in there. Then, uh, this year, 2024, so far, Ireland are at the top now. They've replaced Italy. So 59% zero to three, 10% in six plus seconds. So no team this year, so far at least, has less than, um, 10% of the ball, um, at six plus seconds. France then, 56% zero to three, 14% six plus. Scotland, 53% zero to three, 17% six plus. You can see it's starting to skew a lot, um, kind of grow a lot. England then, um, with, you know, the first team that we've seen between last year and this year with less than 50% zero to three, 46.34. And then, 22% a six plus. So their ball has been significantly slower um, than last year. Italy, then 45%. So dropping down from 62% last year, that's a massive drop, zero to three seconds. And then 18.25% uh, at six plus. So three times as much of the ball um, compared to last year has been six plus seconds. So their rook speed a lot slower as well. Wales, uh, just 34%, so a third of the ball, zero to three seconds, 42% in that middle area, 3.6, or three to six, sorry, and, uh, 18% at six plus seconds. So that's where it is in terms of, of those. And now we're going to look at the kind of average rook speed. So how I calculated this was, first of all, you know, I, I did those totals to, to see, you know, uh, to give me a number that I could basically, um, take so those percentages and make them, make, change them so that they're, we're only looking at the, the ball that the team actually got out. So that, so that 90.81, um, uh, from Italy, say last year, um, I needed to find, well, what, what if this was a hundred percent of the ball? So. Did some calculations with that to kind of, you know, um, to, to work that out. 
And then what I also did was I decided that I'd use the middle finger or the middle finger, the, the middle figure of each of the each of the brackets. So zero to three. So the middle is one point five. Three to six, the middle is four point five, and then six plus because the others are basically the starting number plus one point five. I said it was seven point five for that, and then we worked out our numbers from there. So with that, then um, we worked out kind of what was the average um, speed for each of the rooks. So. Ireland um, in 2023 they had 2.87 so below that magical three and this year it's gone up slightly to 2.94 but still below that magical three which is very important for them. France uh, 3.02 last year gone up slightly to 3.11 this year. Scotland 2.97 last year and then this year it's gone up to 3.35 so they're you know their ball is almost half a second slower this year than last year england have uh, gone from 3.17 to 2.72 so they're more than half a second slower this year italy 2.64 gone up to 3.58 so they're more than a, like they're almost a second slower than they were last year and wales 3.17 and it's increased to 3.98 so again wales almost a second slower so you can see a lot of the ball this year is slower than it was last year and for certain teams it's significantly slower and like if you look at that like ireland their average uh, rook is done in three seconds right whereas wales is pretty much four seconds so ireland are getting the ball out a second faster on average so you know pretty much every rook ireland will have the ball at a second faster and that's a second less than for the defense to to set and you know that's something that we will we'll look out for in the clash between those two at the weekends you basically got the team with the highest or the fastest rook speed versus the team with the, the slowest rook speed and we'll see how that affects in terms of you know uh, the defensive set and the attacking opportunities that are afforded because of that but that's our look at the stats from the first two rounds we will have you know more stats coming you know the next round we look at a different stat etc and towards the end of the turn we will come back and look at some other stats and maybe other from different angles and stuff like that but hope you enjoyed i love my stats i love sharing my stats with you guys and i know some of you watch me you know because we include stats in our stuff and don't just um you know don't don't just chat about the what happened on the field etc we try and link it to the stats and see what's actually going on but you know you can kind of see i think with, with some of the stats here why some teams have maybe slightly improved a little bit and other teams are falling off but it's not the whole picture and that's why we're going to look at other stats in the coming weeks as well but for the rest of this week we're going to have a you know preview that i'm going to record record tomorrow on wednesday of the um of the round as a whole so that should be up on on wednesday night and then uh thursday i'm going to be recording my previews depending on which teams are out previews of the games themselves so individual previews for each of the games as always and then we'll have individual reviews of the games they might be a little bit late because i'm working this weekend which means that any game that kicks off before 4 uh, 4 p.m means i'm not going to be able to watch it live i'm going to have to watch it back and you know that then delays obviously when i can and do my videos but we will have as always previews for all the games reviews for all the games previews for the preview for the round and a review for the round as well so look forward to those and i'll see you guys on the next video